This is a lecture 10 in the series of learning about induction motor starting methods. In, and we'll look into starting methods in this motor. As case of DC motors, induction motors also require some kind of starting arrangement. If you look at the equivalent circuit which was derived previously considering the supply voltage V1, you can see that the resistance or the power output of the machine is given by the resistance of the rotor divided by 1 minus uh, 1 divided by S minus 1. So when at the time of the starting the slip will be equal to 1 as the motor will be having no speed. So the resistance will be 0 in this case and it can be considered as an equivalent of a short circuit. So the starting currents in induction motors are usually 5 to 6 times the full load current or the running current. And such kind of current can have adverse effect on the windings and the insulation of the induction motor. Also it can cause peak current requirements or the peak current intake from the supply which will cause voltage dip and which will affect the performance of the other equipments which are connected to the bus bar or the power system. So to reduce the starting current to provide over voltage and no voltage protection starters are needed. The different kinds of starters which are available for the induction motor is a direct online starter which is not employing any kind of starter but it is directly loading the induction motor to the supply without any other arrangement and there can be a star delta starter which is a connection of resistance or the connection of the motor at the star during the starting and delta while it is running and there can be an auto transformer which can be used to supply voltage to the induction motor at the time of starting so it is a reduction in voltage and there can be resistance which is added to the circuit at the time of starting so the induction motor usually in the range less than 5 kilowatt uh, can be started directly online and the starting current will be 5 to 6 times full load current again it depends on the local regulation on how much peak current local authority allow and the performance of the motor against the damage which is specified by the manuals supplied by uh, manuals and the performance characteristics supplied by the manufacturer so based on that you can decide if you can start your motor which is usually in the range of 5 kilowatt and sometimes even in the range of 10 kilowatt directly online without any damage to the motor or not so the other kind of starting arrangement is the use of a star delta starter. In this kind as shown here the rotor circuit is connected or the stator circuit is connected to the supply in star while it is starting. So in a star connection the phase the line to phase voltage or the phase to neutral voltage will be the line voltage divided by root 3. So it will be reduced by a margin of 0.58. So again the starting current which is directly proportional to the volt supply voltage that is a voltage divided by impedance is a current so it will be reduced by a margin of 0.58 and while the motor is running it is again connected in delta so the full line voltage will now apply across the faces as you can see in the diagram so only at the time of starting there is a reduction in the starting current and while this will further reduce the torque in case of induction squirrel cage motors as a current will be ready supply voltage will be reduced the torque will be reduced but this is a necessary arrangement which you will have to employ at the time of starting so another arrangement which you can use is to use three auto phase auto transformers so three auto phase transformers connected together in star are connected to the induction motor stator and they are connected to three phase supply so while the motor is starting the voltage can be reduced in the transformation ratio of the auto transformer so it can be stepped down from the supply voltage to any desired value which can be used as necessary for according to the rating of the motor so if there is a reduction of the voltage by an x square percentage x is the transformation ratio of the auto transformer then the starting current will be also reduced by the transformation ratio of the auto transformer in the square that is the starting current will be reduced x square times the starting current which was previously without any starting arrangement another method which is possible at the time of starting is the use of rotor resistance this is only possible for slip ring induction motors and as in the case of the, 
the induction slip ring induction motors the resistance can be added to the external circuit so while the resistance is added to the external circuit the voltage which is directly proportional to the or the proportional to the resistance will now reduce or the starting current which is directly proposed is v by z the impedance will be higher as the resistance is high so again the starting current will be reduced in this case so and also the torque will be reduced it will be higher in this case so both the starting current can be reduced and also an improvement in the torque can be achieved in case of slip ring induction motor by employing starting methods that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment